Hey guys, what is going on? Adrian Zeus back in another video, and today we're doing another podcast. I know I haven't done one in forever. I do apologize, but guys, let's get into the video. So traditionally, guys, if you guys are new to, uh, fans to my channel, you guys should know that whenever I do a podcast, which I haven't done in forever, uh, I usually tell you guys my list of topics I am going to talk about. Uh, my list of uh, my paper here, my list says, uh, you know, I want to talk about my upload schedule, you know, my sub count, uh, how I'm about to hit 5,000 views, and, uh, you know, how I'm going to hit 100 subs this year. I'll get in more detail, obviously, later in the video. I want to talk about how I feel about supply drops, also how I feel about the Awakening DLC, and then finally talking about how I feel about all the balancing that Treyarch has put into Black Ops 3. So the first topic, um, kind of just a little thing to say before we get into our first topic. I uploaded a video talk uh, yesterday. It's called Beanie and Arms Reveal, and it's it's just basically me turned around in the chair, and you guys just saw my arms and my the back of a head, or you know I might be neon. So you guys didn't really see anything except my arms, and you know I realized how much of a stupid uh, video that kind of was. So I uh, decided to take it down. You know my friends were joking around and being. Uh, Kind of being jerks and they're disliking the video and all of jokes and you know there's like 10 friends who disliked the video so I just uh, I decided to take it down because you know I, I don't want one I don't want fake views uh, or not real views and two I don't want you know dislikes on a video and I don't know I just I didn't feel complete, like 100% yesterday on it so I decided you know I'll just delete it um, so yeah I'm going to talk about everything I did in that video in this video uh, so if you guys already watched last or that video then you know you'll be hearing some repeat things also with some new information so yeah my upload schedule uh, as you guys know I haven't been uploading on a very good schedule I'm trying to upload like every second day or something but and you know I, I won't upload or I'll make some flimsy excuse or I haven't uploaded any Rocket League you know like I'm four weeks late and you know I'm, I want to kind of talk about that so starting off I do apologize guys you know I haven't been recording lately just because one I haven't had time two I'll you know forget to record and three I just haven't had the willpower or I didn't want to put the full effort you know if I'm not gonna put in full effort in a video I obviously don't want to you know upload it cuz like my beanie video I didn't put I just I didn't feel right about it, so you know I, I I'd end up taking it down wasting your guys time I, you know I just I didn't want to upload something that I didn't feel right about and that's why I haven't been uploading that's my excuse if that makes you know if that's a good excuse to you guys uh, I, I do apologize guys and you know as of Rocket League uh, I decided to take a break of that game I didn't want to ruin the game I didn't want to overplay it where you know it, it, it kind of gets ruined for me because uh, you know that's not good uh, it's, it's always good is what I'm trying to say is to you know take a break of a game like Black Ops 3 for example look at phase rug you know you have to take a game uh, a break of Black Ops 3 for a little bit just because you know you don't want to get bored of a game and when you get bored of a game you don't put your full 100% in recording uh, if you're a youtuber you'd understand or a gaming youtuber I should say specifically you would understand um, but yeah, I decided to take a little break from Rocket League, but I am planning on recording, uh, what is it, week 7 or week 8, I believe, of, uh, Rocket League, which is, um, which is good to hear, you know, I'll be, re I'll be recording that a little more. But yeah, that's my, that's my first topic. Uh, I also want to talk about, you know, my sub count, I talked a little bit this in my, uh, last video that I deleted, and, you know, I was saying how, you know, I realized that I'm stuck in the 60, 70 subscriber zone, I think my highest is 68 subscribers. Um, you know, but like, I'll upload a video, I'll gain some back, uh, don't upload for a while, I'll lose some, um, uh, which really sucks, but you know, that's my fault, and if I'm not gonna put 100% in as a YouTuber, then I understand that if you guys aren't gonna put 100% in being a good subscriber, or not even just a good subscriber, just being, uh, like, just being, su wow, I kinda sound like a dick right now, <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, if I'm not gonna be 100%, understand if you guys understand. Uh, unsubscribe and I want to stop that I want to give you guys the, the uh, videos that you subscribe to me for uh, so let's let's just tr let's just look look listen to me listen to me you know look at me look at me somehow on your screen just like visualize my face however you visualize me just look at me I'll help you you help me cat <laughs> I have no idea I'm rambling right now um, yeah I'm just saying you know let's 
hopefully we can you know get all that zone as I upload more videos but yeah let's get into talking about some positive exciting stuff um, for our channel so guys uh, in my last podcast I believe or my like two podcasts ago I was talking about hitting a thousand views I was so hyped I was so happy you know we were growing so fast as a youtuber and every like hundred views I would you know get so happy and make a video about it um, but I decided to, you know, take hold up, take a break for a while until, you know, I hit, like, a bigger milestone, like, 5,000 views. Um, and we are just about to hit it. We haven't hit it yet. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I think we're, like, I want to say 200-ish views at the very most, which may seem like a lot, but really it isn't. You know, if I upload a lot of videos uh, in a week, I'll get, like, probably 100 views. Um... Which is freaking crazy. Um, so yeah, we're about to hit that. And I just, I can't thank you guys enough. 5,000 views. That is crazy to me. Uh, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys very soon about hitting 10,000 views. That's crazy. That's going into the five digits. That's that's, that's a little uh, too stressful. To, or not too stressful, but too exciting for, uh, for AGR. <laughs> I also want to talk about... Um, how, you know my plans or my goals my goals. That's the word for in my subscriber count in this year this year and I believe you know if if you know like I keep saying if I keep uh, putting in the effort that guy got wrecked <laughs> um, Keep putting in the effort in that I believe we will definitely 100% hit 100 subscribers by the end of the year and I'm trying you know to hopefully do it I don't don't believe me because this may not happen, but hopefully do a um face reveal when we hit 100 subscribers might not happen pretty sure it won't happen so that's a hopeful but maybe it won't happen um but still 100 subscribers that is crazy i really appreciate that um i'm really excited for that i'm acting like i already have a 100 subscribers i'm still stuck in the 5,000 views that's just crazy but yeah hopefully we can hit that by the end of the year hopefully by summer is you know my my long term short term ish goal if that makes any sense or my high expectations goal um but yeah that i just want to talk about that let's get into the next topic okay, so the next topic i want to talk about is how i feel about the supply drops uh you know what they were what they turn are turning into or what they are turned into i guess you could say um from Treyarch, so yeah, let's get into that topic. So, when Black Ops 3 was first announced, supply drops, I'm like, oh dang it, because, you know, I didn't like the way Advanced Warfare did it, you know, I f it felt really paid to win, if that makes any sense at all, and, um, it just, I, I didn't like the idea of supply drops, but when the game released, I actually realized how much I do like supply drops, you know, Crypto Keys were very easy to get, uh, it wasn't too complicated, you know, it was cosmetics only. It added that much more to the game, made it more fun. But I feel like they're really starting to take an advantage of it. Now that they are, you know, adding... First of all, they added, like, the butterfly knife and the wrench and brass knuckles and that stuff. And that was cosmetics only. I was fine with it, you know, if you get it, you get super hyped up. But, um... You know, it doesn't really make a difference. You know, the combat knife's the same thing as the butterfly knife, just different texture and different tricks you can do. Um, so, you know, I was chilled with that. I was chilled with that. And uh, then I heard they added new weapons. And at first, I'm like, oh, sweet. But then I thought, like, wait a sec. Like, can you, like, unlock these by doing challenges? Or, like, can like do you just, like, do, do they just give it to you? Like, the, let's say the Peacekeeper, even though you had to buy the season pass in Black Ops 2. But, like, like, how do you get this thing? And I, I was watching T. Martin, he said, you can only get them from supply drops. And the first thing that went in my mind is, oh, no. Because I saw the hate, you know, the MX Grand, I believe that. It's the M1 Grand, basically, except in Black Ops 3, all futurized. They added that along with the Shadow Claw and a Shotgun Pistol. And uh, it was really, it looked really cool. But, you know, they added, they, um... They had it, so it's in supply drops only, which really sucks, because, you know, I'm really worried that they um, are going to get a little too carried away with supply drops. The way is, you know, at first they said cosmetics only, and then they added cosmetics, you know, knives, and I was chill, like I said. But then they started adding very OP, not OP, but very good guns, like the, sh the, the crossbow, you know, if you're really good with the crossbow, um, then it's just, it's going to be so overpowered. Or, like, with the M, M, what is it, the MX Grand, uh, it's, you know, better than the Shiva, it's a two-shot hit, fast fire rate, it's just, um, uh, it's a low clip, 
you know, I really feel like that's starting to get, or it's like, it's supply drops, it's making supply drops turn into pay to win. I feel like it's starting to, you know, it's, it's, it's debatable whether it's pay to win or not. Um, but I feel like, you know, they're, like I said, they're getting carried away. And I'm just, I'm really worried that, you know, this, you know, making it not available to everybody, uh, and to only some people if they're really good, you know, you're gonna have that one little squeaker who keeps killing you thinking he's all good with the crossbow because you know he got lucky by his parents spending him or giving him a hundred dollars. I biffed it all on freaking supply drops. But the thing that like most eagerly and just frustrates me with this whole system is you know, they made it so you can buy it and I, or buy supply drops. And at first I'm like, yeah, again, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on them because it's, it's kinda neat, you know, if you wanna get, you know, the extra, you know, you wanna spend a little money, treat yourself on this game and give you like the, the extra cosmetics, you know, it's fine. But now they are starting to really take advantage of this pay thing and they're making it with this card points. So, you know, they're making it basically and they're not like making it, they're like not forcing it, it's still your decision. But they're making it so the only way you can really open supply drops is to buy it, honestly. That's like, and some people will get super desperate and they will, uh, they will, you know, will b start spending their money. And that's what Activision wants. I understand that, that's a business. But the thing, like, this is the thing that really frustrates me is every time we find a way. Like, let's say, for example, Uplink. Let's say, for example, you know, uh, uh, what was it? Gun Game. Every time we find a way to make Crypto Keys, they, I feel like they lowered it, they nerfed it, they took, like, they, they really extinguished, that's a good word, extinguished our chances at getting Crypto Keys. And that's just really frustrating to me. Like, I went 40 and 20 on a uh, Newtown game on, like, Safeguard, and I believe that's one of the ones where you get, like, most Crypto Keys. And, you know, they, I only got, like, three crypto keys from the match, where normally I get, like, at the very, very most, I get six. And that's really good for one match. And I feel like they nerfed it, and it just it bothers me, because you can't get crypto keys easily anymore. You have to spend, like, minutes, hours, minutes. You have to spend hours grinding out crypto keys, just so you can have a small chance at possibly getting something new. Whether it's the Shadow Claw, because people have spent, like, for example, Team Martin spent thousands of dollars on these COD points, and you know, Team Martin, after opening like 500 crates, finally starting started getting uh, the weapons. And I just, I think that's ridiculous. What I wish they did was they made it so you, every little bundle of weapons they sell, uh, they they make it so. Either you can get it in the supply drops, or you can buy it for like three bucks. You can, you know, get a bundle. Like for example, Rocket League, um, you can like buy the new like cars, and that, that's all cosmetics only, obviously. And you know, even the bundle may seem pay to win, but I still think it's better system. Uh, but they make like every little bundle, they make it for like two dollars, uh, so you can get like all the new weapons that they added in that time. So like for example. For like, I'd say like maybe like 50 cents a dollar, you get the three new melee weapons that they added. So like the butterfly knife and that. And then for like two, three dollars, they make it so you can get the grand and the shadow claw, I believe. The crossbow basically, along with the iron gym. Or iron rim, I think. And, um, jeez, I can't think. And the sword. Uh, and then you can just buy that instead of spending hard-earned money just so you have a small chance at getting it or grinding out spending you know just spending it doesn't matter if it's money like spending hours spending your time just to grind so you have a small chance of getting it i think that's better let me know what you think down in the descri er, description in the comment section i'd really be interested to hear your opinion because i always do appreciate it uh i always love reading your guys's opinion whether i completely disagree with it you know uh, I like talking about opinions with others. Um, but yeah, let's get into these last two, um, these last two topics because I've talked about supply drops for far too long. Uh, I want to talk about how I feel about the Awakening DLC. So this map, um, what's this map called? Uh, Gauntlet. 
I really enjoy this map. I love the idea of having the three lane. First, I was like very confused to what it be, and when they released it, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna love this map. For Michael Myers, it is so much fun. Uh, I I just I really love this map. So creative idea, hijacked or skyjacked. Sorry, love they made the way the wall running. And why is my character not moving? I think I was like editing or just talking to somebody when I was recording this um, or using this footage. But I basically what I basically love hijack. I love the way they made the wall running. I love the uh, you know the the side of the map. Only thing I have a problem with is the spawns. Um, Rise, I could care less about that map. Just feels like any other map. Uh, I've only played it once or twice online, and there's a reason for that. It's because people don't want to play it. They don't vote for it. Really boring map for competitive. Could be really fun, but creativity-wise, I, I don't really like it. Splash, love that map. Uh, as you guys could tell, I had a lot of enthusiasm when this glitch came out. So much fun uh, for that first couple hours playing until they patched it, obviously. Which needed to happen. Needed to happen. I agree completely. Um, but the creativity map, so much fun, great map, great color, it's fun to play Michael Myers and add-on. Um, except for the further D DLC multiplayer maps. And then, uh, Drys and Drop, my favorite map in Zombies so far. Just made it to round 41 for the first time on any map. Um, so, for all, the reason why I'm saying this is, you know, because the Xbox One and PC, um, DLC map pack comes out March 3rd and I, you know I want to talk about it before that uh, so you know if you have an Xbox one or PC and have the, the season pass for this game really look forward to uh, you guys should really look forward to this DLC map or DLC map pack because it is really good uh, I'm excited to you know see content creators make uh, their their videos on your as and drop because you know they have Xbox one like for example this youtuber as and he is an Xbox one or even um, my cousin you know I'd love to uh, you know, when I go over to his house or something, we'll be able to play together, uh, play Dear Eyes and Drop together. But yeah, I'm rambling like crazy. I just look forward to that map. Really good map pack. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for the future map packs. Uh, let's get into our final small little topic before we end off this long podcast. Uh, it's how I feel about the balancing in Black Ops 3. Um, game came out, there was need some adjustments like the Pharaoh and that, and um, I understand that, but they keep like nerfing and screwing around with the guns, and it annoys me because they're bouncing it so much where I feel like every gun just is the same with a different texture, it's just cosmetics, you know. Like, of course, there's some guns that are completely different than others, but like. In the assault rifle category, like there's the three, or there's the burst, and there's a full auto, and it's just it's balanced so much. I, it just it doesn't make the guns fun and exciting to like. Oh, I can't wait to hit level 30 so I unlock this gun. It's just like oh, I unlocked it now. It's same thing. I could use the gun that I first unlocked. For example, the Cuda. I was liking here, by the way. Um, so that frustrates me. Uh, just because they're balancing a little too much and it's taking away the fun from the game, but that's just a small me problem and a complaint. Um, but yeah, without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much. F uh, like, I really appreciate for having you guys listen to me talk. I don't know how many times I said, uh, uh, probably drive you guys insane if I did a lot, and I do apologize. I'll probably try to edit it out as much as I can. But I really do appreciate you guys listening to me talk. See, I was shooting at the girl in my uh, perspective. I was lagging like crazy. I, I actually had to go. Uh, see, this is spectating somebody else now. But anyways, uh, without further ado, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Let's get let's get back onto this YouTube grind like we normally do. And with, yeah, without further ado, guys, I'm Adrian Zelos. See you guys next.